So I have just gotten back from my trip to Harajuku. Um, while I was there, I stopped at the 100 yen store to buy a bunch of things that I needed for the apartment and I just wanted to show you guys what I got for around 35 Australian dollars. So we've got these little molds here which you actually put um, hard boiled eggs into and you can make them into the shape of a heart and a star and I thought that was adorable and I'm actually going to boil some eggs tonight so that was really cute and because it's like a dollar I bought it. Then we've got some seaweed stuff. Now I don't really know what everything is so I apologise if I'm naming things incorrectly. This is just some eye makeup remover because last night I realised I couldn't take my eye makeup off and left it on all night and it was awful. I've got some pretty chopsticks here, just a few sets there. Just some body wash. I've got what I think might be dashi stock. I think that says dashi. I don't know what that top kanji is though. Um, so if anyone knows what this is and whether I got it right, is it dashi? And I got some noodles. Again, I can't read kanji. I only know a little bit of hiragana and katakana, so I'm not sure what they are, but they look green, so that's interesting. I got some California raisins. Um, I really like fruit, and there's not that much fruit here in Japan, so I bought some dried fruit. Just a little compact mirror so I can see the back of my head to make sure my hair looks okay. I got some tea towels. Then I got some caramel corn. I'm keeping an eye out for all the different flavors. This one here looks like it is almond flavored. This looks like it's some sort of curry mix. I don't really know. I can't really read any of that. Um, I think that says kashi. I don't know the rest. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I just thought I would buy some random stuff since it was only a dollar. I got some matcha flavored Oreos because who wouldn't? I got some furakake, which is like that seaweed seasoning stuff for your rice. I got some packets of M&Ms. I got these very cute coasters because I'm putting cups of tea everywhere and I don't want to mark the furniture. I got some laundry detergent because I'm going to need to wash my clothes. Then I got some little hand towels here and then a bath towel, which actually cost me 200 yen um, because I don't currently have a bath towel. I've just got a little travel one that I've been using. Oh my god, look, he's so cute. Little cup bowl thing. I'm assuming I can use it for miso or matcha or whatever I want, a little bit of rice. A little Hello Kitty sponge. Apparently she gets all soapy and you use it for cleaning your body. I've got some matcha flavoured soft candy. I love green tea and I love anything matcha flavoured. Just some kitchen sponges and of course I got the ones with the smiley face and it's got like lace embroidery stuff on the outside. Why wouldn't you? Um, I just got some little stationery here. A kitchen vegetable peeler. I've got these little towels here. Now these are just tiny little towels because as I've discovered today, a lot of the public toilets don't have anything to dry your hands with. So it's really good to keep a tiny towel with you because then you can dry your hands. I've got these orange cleaner sheets. That's just to be able to clean my bench tops and everything. Then I have got some Glad Wrap. Which of course it's not called Glad Wrap, it's just called Food Wrap. And look, Hello Kitty printed aluminium foil. How excited is that? How excited is that? How exciting is that? That's it. That was my trip to the 100 yen store in Harajuku and I got all of that for like $35. Pretty chuffed. Ooh.